I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. I thought, my gosh, here's the greatest horse probably anybody's ever seen coming to Woodbine for this race. Oh, listen, we wouldn't have missed this for anything. If it was four feet of snow, we would have come. It's a super horse. Watch him come down here. He sounded like a freight train. We came all the way from New York to watch Secretariat run, and we hope he wins. It was a signature moment in Canadian racing, and uh, it put Canada on the map. It meant a lot to everyone that Secretariat was going to run his last race here. This is the last chance I might see Secretariat ever race, so I thought I'd come to see him. Well, I heard the crowd. The hum became a roar. When he came off the, the plane and down the ramp, it was like um, the biggest star in Hollywood walking the red carpet. I'm Eddie Maple, and I had the pleasure of riding Secretariat in his last race. When I found out that I was going to get the mount on Secretariat, I just could not believe it. I'm going to ride the greatest horse that ever looked through a bridle. And uh, th that's exactly how I felt. It was with great anticipation that people were waiting for the big race and to see Secretariat for the first time live. I think the culture of the day was crying out for some type of hero. It was a wartime in parts of the world, and everyone was just looking for that gravitating figure, and it turned out to be this magnificent horse, and not any horse, beautiful, flashy chestnut with a beautiful stride. And I think he was the good news story that everyone needed. I thought this is the greatest experience I've ever had in my life in racing. Um, here's a horse that had been on the cover of practically every major magazine in, in the United States and Canada. I, I just couldn't imagine how much of an impact he would have on racing in Canada. It was just um, mind-blowing. There was a lot of good riders around, and I was very, very lucky to get them out. I would have swam across uh, Lake Ontario to ride this horse. When we heard Secretary was actually coming to Goodbine, and we saw it firsthand because the Saturn cargo plane flew in this direction right over the race course. And we all looked up and said, he's on that plane. <laughs> we were at the airport uh, waiting for the plane to land. Our media were there, photographers. And when he came off the, the plane and down the ramp, and he looked over at the photographers as if to smile at them. And he was a ham. He really was. He loved cameras. If he heard a camera click, he would automatically turn and look where it came from. Yeah, he was amazing. Well, Secretariat was uh, getting ready for his big workout uh, just in behind me here, and several hundred people had gathered. But it was foggy, and it was delayed quite a while. The main purpose of the workout was him crossing the dirt strip. At that time, the Marshall Turf Course intersected the main dirt track, and a lot of horses would, would shy at that. Well, I was 14 years old at the time. Heavily into the racing, that was my dream. I never seen a horse as big as this coming down here in a stride. He went by me, just the look on his face looked like he was smiling, this horse. That's how much he loved it. <laughs> he, he, he appeared out of the fog, so it was almost had a, a mythical feeling about it, right? And then disappears just as quickly. Just like steam coming out of his nostrils, like a big locomotive. He was just coming and coming. And when he hit the strip, he just, whoosh, he was gone. 50 years looking back, I can still, I can still see that morning um, when he came through the mist. It was just, um, it still losing my memory. I start to tear up when I think about it. Mm. Sorry. We woke up Sunday morning with sleet, a bit of snow, heavy rain, dark, dark clouds. The weather forecast wasn't great. Now, is this turf course going to be soft enough to where it's going to affect his, his ability to run his best race? But the fact was that there was nothing to be afraid about. It was bone chilling cold for people as well. But, you know, with the anticipation that Secretariat was on the card, he was coming up the time seemed to pass relatively quickly. It was incredible. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. People waiting in that weather just to get in to see Secretariat. Here are 
Kennedy Road comes away quickly on the outside to take the lead. Yeah, but Kennedy Road was a big horse. He was bigger than Secretariat. And he came out off the, off the hedge and he bumped Secretariat. Secretariat just kind of, boop, bye-bye. When Secretariat broke loose from Kennedy Road and entered into that far turn, uh, Hall of Fame announcer Darrell Wells elicited a great response from the crowd. There he goes, there he goes, Secretariat. He's in the stretch in the blaze of glory. Secretariat, ladies and gentlemen, he's all yours and he's coming to the wire. As Secretariat came through the stretch with a wide margin, you could see people climbing the fence and streaming across the main track. They wanted to be as close to that star as they could. I heard the crowd for sure. As soon as we turned into the stretch, uh, it was just uh, unbelievable the, the way that they all chimed in and, and just went to rooting for the source to finish. I didn't see the crowd running across the track. I did afterwards. Pretty unbelievable. I've been around some of the best horses in the world, but I've never experienced anything like Secretariat. People just fall in love with them and just don't want to, they don't want to miss anything. Here I am retired uh, uh, 25 years, and uh, people say, oh, you, oh, you're Eddie Maple, you rode Secretariat. That's all they know. They don't know I'm in the Hall of Fame and I won 4,000 other races. He'll be in the headlines and, and I'm going to be in there too because I was the last guy to ride him. If you're lucky in your lifetime, you'll see greatness maybe once or twice. I saw greatness. I don't think we will ever see a horse as durable and as spectacular as, uh, as he was. But I think you're always looking for the next big star. Records are there to be broken, but images are hard to break. And his image was just brilliant.